you have to realize that there are many ways you can drive, as I put it, there's many ways to drive from Boston to Chicago. And uh, there's many ways that a toxic chemical can, can get into kids. And if we get at this, we can cut down the cost of two things, three things, actually, that are important. First, learning disabilities, special ed, about 15 grand a year per kid, on some estimates. Uh, I got evidence that these toxic chemicals increase the rates of learning disabilities. Well, obviously, let me, let me stop you. I mean, lead, arsenic... Mercury, fluoride, professor, and of course we should add you've won a lot of international awards for your research, groundbreaking, and now just accepted you know, basically as, as fact because it is. But they knew 200 years ago that lead and mercury had all sorts of problems, made you go insane. You know, they knew 100 years ago uh, what fluoride uh, did. I mean, I've seen University of Texas studies and German studies from 80, 90, 100 years ago. So, I mean, here you are discovering that this really is increasing crime and antisocial behavior and a dumbing down. But, but now let's look at why they decided to put it in the water. Well, and first they, of all, I, wa I want to raise a question to you mm -hmm. with what you just said. It's not so clear that fluoride itself is always the problem. Uh, I bet uh, you know somebody who uses toothpaste with sodium fluoride in it. Yes. Uh, and this, uh, you have to have an awful lot of fluoride uh, to cause a problem. I mean, obviously, if you have too much of anything, get above a certain level, it's really bad news. But see, that's the thing, Professor. People don't know that the word fluoride is a coverall for dumping hundreds of things in the water. So maybe we should get to that and then break down the history of it. But but go ahead. All right. Well. Look, the, the main thing is that uh, in putting fluoride in the water, uh, instead of sodium fluoride, most of it, over 90% of it, uses uh, one of two chemicals, either something called fluorosilicic acid, which has got two atoms of hydrogen, a silicon, and six atoms of fluoride, or sodium silicon fluoride, which is two atoms of sodium, a silicon, and six fluorides. That's a more complicated compound than sodium fluoride. One sodium, one fluoride, and the sodium fluoride was first tested. It was tested for safety. You put that in the water. The the fluoride and the and, and the fluorine and the, and the sodium uh, atoms separate. Uh, if the fluorine sticks to your teeth, it, it, the evidence was at the time that it, it toughens the surface of your teeth, so it cuts down. Uh, it's supposed to cut down uh, uh, cavities. Now the whole problem with these other chemicals, generally called silicon fluorides, is that they have this other chunk to them, the, the two hydrogens, the silicon, and actually one or two fluorides. It, it's a chemical. The chemist I work with, everything in this is, is, is done with a chemist named Mark J. Copeland. I really owe him a great deal because he's the one who got me started on looking at fluoride compounds. Uh, he calls it an, an oligomer of silicic acid, which is a fancy word for just saying there's a, there's a chemical there that's left over after you put the silico fluoride into the water. And so the real question is, why do we put them in the water? And so I'm going to ask you a question. What agency of the federal government do you think decided to design the idea and got people to start putting a fluoride compound, not fluoride, it's a fluoride compound, in water supply? The Department of uh, Energy, after they had, uh, you know, had all these millions of tons of toxic waste piled up, and they had some spills in Tennessee and other places that killed some of the rivers. Actually, it was before that. Well, I know that it was Department of Energy that went around all the cities and lobbied everybody, but, but I mean, go ahead, give us the history, Professor. The, the history goes back to uh, uh, World War II. And yeah, the Manhattan back. Project, but I'm saying after... But it goes, it goes, actually, let's see, it goes back before that, because... Okay. Uh, well, tell knows. us the whole history, then. That's why we've got you here. You're the expert on this. Well, well the history begins, actually, uh, with Einstein coming to the United States and writing that letter to Roosevelt about possibly making this bomb that would make a, a huge explosion. You know, Einstein wrote Roosevelt a letter about the possibility of having a nuclear bomb. Then the Germans took over Czechoslovakia, called the Anschluss. That was one of the things that triggered World War II, but when the, when, when the Nazis went into Czechoslovakia, why'd they pick that place? 
They occupied the place with the best uranium in Europe. Now, one thing we forget is that when Einstein came to the United States as a brilliant physicist, there are other brilliant physicists who stayed in Germany. Like Max Planck. Yeah, and, and, and Hitler began a, uh, a nuclear weapons project. Uh, now, in fact, we know two things about that that's worth mentioning, because I want the audience to have in mind that this is all secret during World War II. This question of whether Hitler had the bomb, whether we, we, were, we didn't want anybody to know we were working on a bomb. Well, he really did. We only had enough to test one at the end of the... Near the end of the war, they did that secret deal. I'm sure you know about this professor with the U-boat trading um, in exchange for safety in South America. Oh, but sure, but but the question is, first of all, uh, what we uh, what what uh, is not generally known is that uh, there's a question of why Hitler didn't make more progress with the great physicist, and there's a rumor. It's never been proved. We have no evidence for it. It's, it's a guess that some nuclear physicist and perhaps the great physicist Heisenberg arranged for the experiments to fail because they didn't want Hitler to have the bomb. Well, the one thing we do know is that Hitler had a huge supply of uranium that he had separated. You have to separate uranium from other elements and rock. It's a little difficult to enrich it. You know, all this stuff we hear about these centrifuges now. You have to do something to make the uranium into a state where it can cause a bomb. And Hitler put his uranium in a place in Norway called Pendamon, where he put the uranium in something called heavy water, which was which absorbs radiation so it couldn't explode. They were sure what to do with their uranium so it wouldn't have an accident. And they didn't want it to be in Germany because they were afraid we'd bomb it, so they put it in Norway. And so they sent in U.S. forces that followed it when it went across the, the, the lake on the barge and sunk it. That's right. So we destroyed his uranium, and that set that whole thing way back. Uh, Hitler himself was apparently not as that is there are some reports that he wasn't as, as interested in that as some of the scientists anyway. So uh, we were lucky, I suppose, on that score. But well, have you seen the German maps on what their A-bomb is going to do to Manhattan? But it was so late in the war they decided the U.S. would annihilate them with conventional weapons, so they made a deal. Do you have doubts about the stability of the dollar or your own financial future? Is a dismal growth rate or rampant inflation affecting the bottom line? It is uranium, and that set that whole thing way back. Uh, Hitler himself was apparently not as, that is there are some reports, that he wasn't as, as interested in that as some of the scientists anyway, so uh, we were lucky, I suppose, on that score. But the well, have you seen the German maps on what their A-bomb was going to do to Manhattan? But it was so late in the war, they decided the U.S. would annihilate them with conventional weapons, so they made a deal. Do you have doubts about the stability of the dollar or your own financial future? Is a dismal growth rate or rampant inflation affecting the bottom line of your retirement savings account? Do you worry about uncontrollable economic events which could suddenly wipe out some or all of your hard-earned savings? You can turn adversity into opportunity. Individual retirement accounts and most 401ks, 403bs, SEPs, and other retirement plans can be rolled over into self-directed accounts using gold and silver. There are definitely some do's and don'ts with this rollover process, and that's where Midas Resources comes in. Call us at 1-866-323-5665, and we can help you with this process. History has shown that metals will maintain your buying power, even if other financial assets are failing. It's not a question of if you'll need precious metals in your portfolio, it's a question of when. So whether you're planning for an economic rainy day or a Category 5 hurricane, the solution is the same. Call us today at 1-866-323-5665. 1-866-323-5665. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama Bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijackers' ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the 
Israeli Intelligence Network, Warnings and War Games, The Shadow Government, and much, much more. Fabled Enemies. Get the DVD at Infowars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Every week, thousands of violent crimes are committed. Don't let yourself become a statistic. Be smart. Be safe. Trust Pepper Spray instead of your luck. Pepperspray.com is the only website you'll ever need for...